In this life, there is no lies. There's absolutely no lies, none. You are simply, your energy is simply a mixture of your self-talk and your actions. And that's just today. Every day you have a choice to get up and raise your rate of vibration, raise your energy, bring yourself to the level of what you see in your head, who you envision yourself as, your highest self. And that's why I simply say to start off this process, you have to find what you admire in others and do that, be that, become that. It's that easy. I learned this in the penitentiary because I was insecure. I did have a lack of confidence. I walked in the chow hall the first few times and I'm like, holy shit, these dudes are intense, these dudes are crazy. I come walking in and I'm at Sentinella and I come sit down at the table, we're all segregated by tables. So I sit down with one of my Dago cats, Jammer, and then I sit next to two IE cats. IE is the Inland Empire. And I sit next to him and this motherfucker rhino, this cat, has an I and an E on his face, his whole face, and it's bright red. He just got it blasted. And then Jammer tells me how they just were trying to put in work. They had their hands raised because they wanted to get their letters. You have to earn your letters in there. You have to earn them. So how you earn your letters is putting in work for your people, smashing one of your people out, your own people. The worst thing about this is, is the person getting smashed out, getting stabbed, getting removed from the yard, doesn't even know, and everybody else does. Everybody else knows it's going down, except that person. So they're just walking around, doo doo doo, minding their own business, and then bam, bam, it just fucking goes off. Whether they're getting stabbed or their ass beat, they get set up every time. They get set up by their people. Like I've told you before, the sickening as shit is when they'll bring a chomo out to the yard, a straight chomo, they'll know he's got bad paperwork. They'll bring him out to the yard and befriend him. They'll be like, hey, let's get some burpees in, big dog. Let's handle this workout. They get his heart pumping, get his blood flowing, doing push-ups, boom, boom, boom. Doing the burpees, pistons, I go, you go, I go, you go. Till the dude's heart's racing. And they're like, hey, let's get some pull-ups. Let's get some bar work. The second he jumps up on the bars, swap, swap. Just take him out. Hit his neck, hit his under his abdomen, and the dude spills out. He's done. Dead fucking body. This is a common occurrence in the penitentiary. People act like it don't fucking exist because they don't see it on the news. Motherfucker, you ain't been there. This is how I learned how to control my energy in an authentic manner. Don't overstep who you are. Don't try to be all fucking something you're not. This is gained through duration of time that you've existed as the person you appear to be. The fraudulent ass shit in the penitentiary does not fall. It does not fucking fly. Not at all. If a motherfucker just looks apart, he's joined that costume fucking party where you just want to appear like something you're not. He gets labeled as that. They're like, oh, look at that bitch ass dope fiend, that weak ass motherfucker. Look at that fool all strung out. Everybody knows it. The workout car, the fools that get their money, they all got respect for each other. The dope fiends, they all sit in the shadows and play their fucking games. This is how it is. This is how it is out here. You have to fucking conduct yourself in a manner you admire. You have to respect yourself to respect your life. Nothing is fucking given. It's an eye for an eye, energy exchange. You're creating who you are. When you walk in the room, people know, did this bitch get up on time, conduct himself right, and does he live a right life? Or when you walk in the room, they're like, look at this shady ass bitch. I can tell this motherfucker's a shady fuck. Why the fuck does it anything else? So the spineless ass dude who decides to fucking spend his whole life doing shit he likes, pleasure chasing and being a bitch, that shit's known. You can't fucking hide from what you are. You are exactly what you do. You are the culmination of your motherfucking daily acts over the duration of time. I could wake up tomorrow and just be a bitch tomorrow. And if I got on this fucking camera as a bitch in the morning, I wouldn't come across in an authentic version of who the fuck I am. The, so, the person who got up, sat with consciousness, gathered his answers from above, spilt them out in a selfless manner because he wants to see people succeed, the motherfucker who pushes himself in every fucking set, this ain't fucking gifted, this is earned. The motherfucker who wants it gifted has a timeline on his fucking life. Fuck a timeline. A timeline is the opposite of being in flow state. It's the opposite of being in the moment. You'll never figure out who the fuck you are. You'll never reach a level of self-discovery needed if you put a fucking timeline on your motherfucking life. You have to go into these processes, your morning process, who you are, you have to go into this shit in an authentic manner, just bowing down like, fuck, I wanna sit here and I'm just gonna be me. I'm just gonna be, be, I'm gonna be myself. And then your answers come. And then you earn them. Then you push them to the levels. 
At one year, you're at the fucking one year level. Three years, you're at the three year level. 10 fucking years, you're at the 10 year level. You don't get a level you didn't fucking earn, motherfucker. Walk around with that 10 year strut, with that fucking cold stroll on the yard. When you've done your first year, bam, 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 you're booked. You're done. You're done. You can't fake that shit. Out here, motherfuckers can fake it because motherfuckers will fall for it. Ain't no motherfucker like me ever falling for it. I can see a half step on a soft ass motherfucker from a mile away. And the motherfucker don't have to be tatted, be buff and all this shit. He just has to be conducting himself in an authentic manner according to the man he wishes to create, which is constantly changing due to our capacity. You have to fucking sit with yourself and find your motherfucking answers. Don't use my motherfucking answers. Life is preparation. You're preparing yourself for these hard times. Who's getting done by this time? Motherfuckers are getting done by this time. This baby bitch ass time is doing a bitch ass motherfucker in. How the fuck are you going to ever manage when it gets hard? Do you realize what prison is like in different countries? America's fucking soft. Kelly's the hardest in America. It's still soft compared to fucking Russia or some shit or normal life in other countries. What the fuck? What the fuck? Your life's hard? Situations are hard? Compared to fucking what? This ain't eating bonbons on the couch watching the fucking Kardashians. You ain't keeping up with shit. You ain't keeping up with shit if you're fucking letting yourself down. This is pride accumulating through actions. You create who you are. Why the fuck would you want anything different? If you want the outcome without the work, you're a fake ass motherfucker. You're about appearances. I had to learn it the hard way. I was that way. I wanted to look like I'd done time in the early stages. I wanted to feel comfortable, but you don't get it that way. You get the comfort by earning the confidence by putting in the work. You don't get to feel comfortable in a place you haven't fucking earned. You ain't that. That's not authentic. You're not fucking that. It's that simple. So in the penitentiary, motherfuckers are straight wearing that costume. They'll fucking look hard as fuck. And they'll bitch the fuck up all the fucking time. The blastedest, dumbest looking motherfucker who acts the hardest is the one who hits that bitch bell the quickest. All the face tats, all the shit, all the fucking bullshit. That's that dope fiend motherfucker that goes out backwards, tail between his legs. The real ones usually don't even look like me. They're completely not blasted. They're completely, they're doing 25 because they did one thing that led them there. One big ass thing. And they still have trust in their life. They still have love for their life. They still want their life back. The bitch ass motherfuckers who live that revolving door life or who have given up, they have the least respect for self. We have to change these fucking definitions. That's not hard. That's stupid, motherfucker. That ain't hard. That's stupid. Leaving yourself in fucking tears over choices as a grown ass man, a male. You ain't a man if you ain't taking care of your fucking family. You ain't a man if you ain't fucking responsible. This is the definition of a motherfucking man. Responsibility. Don't try to jump into something you're not or take it as a fucking insult when you're not at that level. Accept your level. Accept your motherfucking level. The reason people tap is because they see themselves on a different fucking level than they earned. So then they tap because they don't want to look like fucking something they fucking are. That's sickening. In the penitentiary, you come in, your paperwork speaks for itself, then it's your program. Do you do your time or does your time fucking do you? Nothing worse than that motherfucker that comes up to you in the fucking block or on the yard telling you they've done a bunch of years looking like the bunch of years did fucking them. Don't come out off this lockdown showing on your exterior who the fuck you are inside a soft ass bitch. Show on your exterior someone you're proud of internally. That is the only depiction of who the fuck you are. The way you change your external fucking features, your external aesthetics, opposed to letting them fucking beat you the fuck up. Nobody wants to look worse. I won't believe the lie. Is this all about looks? Fuck no. This is about creation of the person you admire. This is about raising vibration, raising energy to walk in the room and uplift others. Uplift others by uplifting yourself. This is the most noble, selfless thing you can do. Fuck my sleep. Fuck if I have to work out hard. Fuck that food. I'm bringing my people up. It's up to me. If it'll be, it's up to fucking me. This is what it is. I had to do that in the pen. I couldn't let them slip. They were weak. They had never done nothing. I was the one. I said, fuck it. I'll get up earlier. I'll work harder. Leaders do fucking more. That's the definition. Leaders do 
fucking more.